So this is my Ruger 1022 that I acquired. Um, I got this used. I've only used it once. Um, it came with some really crappy aftermarket stock. So I uh, got this wood one off eBay, original wood one, and uh, put this scope on. It's uh, Cabela's caliber specific for 22 specifically. And I believe it's a 3 to 9. I think uh, yeah three to nine um, anyway um, I was this was about ninety nine dollars I was gonna get the cheaper one that did not have the um, caliber specific markings on the reticle but um, they tried to do one of those store model displays for full price things on me so I'm not gonna buy something where the box is open and used for Full price. Uh, it's like GameStop when they sell you a new game that they open the case on and everything. The seal is broken. It's not new anymore. Lower the price. So yeah, I refuse to buy anything that's like that. So um, this seems to be working out well. I already installed a full quartz and um, ejector and um, firing pin. That's already installed. I still have the originals. I'm keeping. Um, just in case, I have them somewhere. Um, <clears throat> another thing about this scope here, um, I had to take the front sight off, the iron sight. You can see there's not much clearance. And um, another thing with this is it's kind of hard to reach the, because the scope's so big, it's a little awkward to use the charging handle here. So, I bought this one that's bigger, so hopefully that'll make it a little easier. I just don't want to have to fumble around with this thing. Um, I want to actually use it. So, um, I don't want to have to, you know, I could get used to it, but why? Um, I want it just easy to use right away. Um, so, I got this from JWH Custom, uh, just on eBay. So we'll see how that works. I've never used one of their things before, so um, I just decided on that one because it was one of the cheaper ones. And I'm going to install this full quartz and um, auto bolt release. Um, I don't like fumbling with this to stupid lever to bring the bolt back either. I got sick of that, so I'm going to put this in. And uh, the final thing I'm going to do is this magazine release. Um, I was shooting this in 20 degrees um, when I first put the scope on. I took it out the other day and first shot it. And uh, with gloves on, it's really hard to reach in here and uh, eject this thing. And with this scope on, it's, you know, it hits your wrist. It's kind of annoying to do anything that should be easy. Um, just because this thing's pretty big on here, the scope. So I'm going to put this other um, magazine release on just so I don't have to fumble around. Just to make it more usable. So yeah, um, so far that's all I've done to it. Um, I have not used this very much yet. I would like to take it out more. So far I'm pleased with it. I have not had many problems with feeding or jamming. Um, even using some federal bulk ammunition. So, so far it's been fairly good to me. I've only ran probably 50 rounds through it or so. So I have a lot, a lot of ways to go yet. But, um, yeah, I'll see how it fires after I install these parts. People say this is a pretty good thing to have, so we'll see. Alright, I uh, just got her all finished. Uh, it didn't take that long. But uh, here's the standard uh, charging handle. As I said, I replaced that. This one is a lot bigger and a lot easier to grab, which is nice. Um, also, I don't even know where I put the other old stuff. Um, somewhere around here. Anyway, I also added the bolt release probably under the stand here somewhere. Um, 
so that I don't have to fumble with that anymore. Now you can just do that. You still have to hold that up to do it, but to lock it. But um, instead of fumbling with that button, let's pull it back. And there we go. Way better. And I also installed the magazine release down here. No more fumbling around with that uh, little button there. Just pull it. There we go. Get it. You don't even have to. Way better now. Whoop. Yeah, this. Go much better that sticks out now. No problem. See, that was the problem. Your knuckle was would hit that turret there. But not anymore. Way better. A lot more room to play with there. So yeah, this should be pretty nice. My first 1022. Like I said I got it used, but uh, I don't really care. Still seems to shoot okay. Now I really can... Uh, with this thing so yeah there we go